everyone. Welcome to November favorites. And before I get to my favorites, let me just jump in with some news updates, what have you. So starting December 1st is Vlogmas, not Vlogadays this year, Vlogmas. And that will start December 1st. Um, and the first video will be just like a catch up of everything that happened since my last weekly vlog. And then we'll go into dailies. And when I say dailies, every day there will be something. It might not always be a vlog. It might be um, just normal content like today's video, a sit down where we're talking about a specific product. I may skip some days and just only do like Instagram live. If you're not already following me on my Instagram account, that is um, what you should do if you don't wanna miss any live interaction with me and to make sure that you're not missing any of my Instagram live content. If you're already following me, be sure to turn on notifications to do that. Go to my profile. There's three dots next to my name, like horizontal dots on the top, click on that and it'll say turn on notifications or something like that. So there you go. All right, let's get into the favorite. So first off non beauty favorite and YouTuber. I'm really enjoying following. Um, her name is Brianna Fox. Yes. Brianna Fox. I love her tutorials. I love her hair tutorials. Um, I think it's because we have similar coloring. So there's that, but I've just learned a lot from following her and as far as styling hair and so forth and so on and makeup. So if you're not already following her, she's pretty big. Um, I'll put her link below to her channel. Another thing is a TV favorite after so much hype, the whole rest of the world, um, has been talking about this TV show. It's actually on Netflix. Um, I finally jumped on board, Michael and I, the stranger things train stranger things is the show on Netflix. Wow. It's like Goonies for grownups basically. And it's not scary. I promise. I don't like scary movies. So not scary. All right, let's get on to makeup in no particular order. Let's start with what's on my face. So I've been wearing my uh, eye makeup like this a lot. A lot of you have been commenting. There will be a tutorial forthcoming. I promise it's the combination of these two items. So first off, it's the Violet Voss Pro eyeshadow palette in taupe or top, taupe notch, top notch, get it, taupe notch. And um, I almost didn't order this, but you guys talked me into it and I am so glad. The word taupe, um, threw me off. It's a misnomer. This is by no means a cool palette. When I think taupe, I think cool shades. These are all just like every brown, tan, creamy, warmish, neutral combo you can think of. Um, satin finish, shimmer finishes. Um, and my go-to shades in here, um, Royal in my crease, I deepen it up with Extra or, um, I can't read this upside down, Supreme. I use L, no, Elite can't read upside down elite as my brow bone highlight um, on the lid. Super is awesome. Super is awesome. Really? Who named this? Anyway, they're all wearable. You cannot go wrong with this. There's so many great shades. I will definitely do more of a like dedicated Violet Voss top notch only taupe notch only um, tutorial. But what I've been doing is using this for like crease, brow bone, all that stuff. But for the lid, okay. Urban Decay sent me this maybe a month ago. And when I saw this, I thought, no way, no, I'm not even like, I'll probably just send it to my niece who's in art school. She'll love this. It's their heavy metal metals palette. The packaging is pretty cool. Not really travel friendly cause it's big, but like really where am I going most of the time? So anyway, it's this hard plastic, interesting case. You push it on the side, ding. And this comes out completely. You have like interesting jewel tone, bright shades here. And you have w mostly warm, neutrally browny shades on this side. I can't really speak to the, this, I haven't gone, I haven't gone to the left side, but I've been going nuts on the right side. And y'all have been saying, Oh my God, your eyes look amazing. Thank you. And people in real life have been telling me that. And it's really because I've been using these on the lid and sometimes deepening the outer crease with these darker colors here. This hasn't gotten a lot of love on the internet. In fact, some people have really um, not enjoyed this palette. The reasons why they don't like it are the reasons why I do like it. Um, these to me at first glance, I thought crazy glitter, sparkle, unwearable. I am too old for this. Um, how am I going to incorporate this into a daily look maybe for a party, but then I actually started swatching them and they're very wearable. If you can, I don't know if you can really tell, but they're not glittery. They're mostly shimmery. They're a little bit chunky on the brush, but when you pat them on your lid, it's fine. It's better than fine. They're just, 
they're more shimmer and they're wearable and they're fun and they blend and they, you know, it's not a standalone palette, which generally annoys the you know what out of me. But I feel like because there's so many shade options here, um, between this palette and any basic palette that has some neutral, you know, more matte satin shades, this is even more than I need, you have a lot of fun looks. You, you can do a lot, you can wear it as an everyday, I'm going on and on. But I really, really like, I, I'm glad that I finally took it out of the box and started swatching because I really had written that off. Speaking of sparkly and glittery, I actually bought these to talk about in a Nordstrom video um, earlier this month, and um, this will come up again in December, but I wanted to get these out here before the parties started. So I've worn it a few times in vlogs, and then what was interesting is my friends in real life, and actually people I don't know very well, were coming up to me going, oh my God, what is on your eyelid? Show me how you did that. I can never get glitter to work right. And these are the, um, what are these called exactly? The Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. This one's written in the stars. It's like 25 bucks for three of these. Um, I'd initially wanted to get these in the Sephora VIB sale. They were sold out. Nordstrom carries them. Nordstrom was not sold out, so yay for Nordstrom. There's three shades. One is a silvery shade. One is that typical like pinkish champagne kitten shade. And then the other one I'd say is like a deeper, it's called smoky quartz, but it's like a warmer grayish tone, almost a taupe. It's taupe. Um, these are the most easy glitter shades to wear, and it's all because of the applicator. Again, I will, I will feature these in a tutorial next month, but basically it's like a lip gloss container, so it's a doe foot applicator, and you literally just do your whole eye normal, like satin, matte tones all over crease, all that stuff, and then you just literally pop this on. Boop, 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 boop. Let it dry, like keep your eyes shut for a few seconds and you're good to go. What's really neat about these is like you can do your makeup like normal, your lid, everything, go to your daily stuff, work, what have you. And then if you're off to a party, just smack this on the lid and you are just, it's amazing. It's beautiful. There's lots more shades, but I like, I think these are the most wearable options and they're three little ones for 25. Um, I don't know if they're full size or not, but the reality is, are you really going to go through an entire tube of glitter eyeshadow? Probably not. Okay. Back to Urban Decay. They sent me a couple things actually, and look at this, isn't this cool? This is not, this was the PR package. And in here was um, a bunch of these all-nighter concealers, and they look like the all-nighter foundation bottle, I believe. And I am wearing the shade Fair Neutral under my eyes. If you're looking for a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape as far as performance goes, here you have it. There are a million shades. Does it say here how many shades? No. There are a lot of shades very similar to the Tarte Tape Shape. Um, shape tape. It has uh, a similar effect, like I said. What is nice about this is that it's available in more than one place. Um, I think that shape tape is only available on Tarte or at Ulta, whereas this is pretty much everywhere Urban Decay is sold, and it's a, lot, a lighter weight feeling on your face than the Tarte Shape Tape. I can use these interchangeably, but if you're looking for a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape or you can't get it where you are or whatever, here you go. You all have also been asking me what's different about your skin, you're glowing, something's different. It's the blush I've been wearing, I think. It's the blush and a technique I'm about to show you. And the blush is no stranger to my favorites. It's the Tarte Natural Beauty. It is this color. Um, it's in the shade, like I said, natural beauty. It's like a strawberry red is how they describe it on the website. And I just lightly pounce it on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it all the way back and do a little bit like with my brush, a little bit on the temp on the temples, Those are my temples. And it just gives you a glow. It looks really scary in the pan. I get it. But if someone this fair can wear this daily, I think anybody can. Um, it just gives you that I just came in from outside and I have exercise and fresh air and I'm glowing. It's that. The other thing I've been using, again, really old because like the name is worn off. It's the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Palette. And what I've been doing to finish off my look is, and I have powdered already, um, and I forgot to bring it with me, but the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Compact Powder, game changer. I've been using, like, I put away all my other powders. It's a favorite. I didn't bring it with me, but it's a favorite. It's amazing. Um, so when I'm all done, even after I powder and everything, I finish my whole face. The last thing I do before setting spray is I take a big fluffy brush and I just kind of rub it back and forth across these and do it all over my face. I just set my final face, so to speak, with this. Game changer. Glowy without being shimmery. It's amazing. We should do a drinking game out of how many times I say amazing, but only if you're over 21. And then I've been doing something I have never really done consistently, and that is use a lip liner. It is, 
it makes a difference. And I think especially at my age, my the edges of my lips are less defined than they have been previously. Um, and it's this one. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk. Um, there's another one called, I think, Iconic Nude that I have my eye on, but I think that this Pillow Talk one is a little more universal and goes with a lot more things. So um, mine's worn down to the nub again. I have to sharpen it. It does wear down quickly, but um, it stays on a really long time. And this color, I've yet to find something quite exactly the same. It's pretty interesting little, there's a reason why it's so hyped up. Earrings. I, they're not tassel earrings. I know some of you are really annoyed with how many times I'm wearing tassel earrings. They're trendy. I like them. They're fun. This too shall pass. I get it. Okay. These earrings um, from Bobble Bar, they sent these to me. Um, why? Well, I chose them and then they sent them to me. I chose these because they're a little bit sparkly, so you can wear them to something fancy, but they're not black. They're navy, like a really deep navy. I think these are called the Eve Drops, if I'm if I'm correct. Um, I just, I love them. I love this navy. They look beautiful with gray. Obviously I wear a lot of navy now, cream, what have you. I feel like it's a neutral that's a little bit softer than the typical black or even gray that I'm constantly wearing. And then I picked out these from Bubble Bar because I just thought, you know, they're a little different, but they're really fun, especially for the parties coming up. These are called the Parisian feather drops, I think, or feather earrings. And they are in fact a bunch of black feathers. Like it, I know it could be a dust, a feather duster on your ear, but they're different. They're not your typical sparkly party earrings. There's definitely, you know, a little twist to it. And I think they're really fun. And especially if you have long hair and it's just sort of peeking out. I just, I don't know. I really, really enjoy them. I think they're fun. You know, there's like, life is short. If you can find some fun in a pair of earrings, why not? And then finally, this is only going to appeal to a very small group of you. If you are now wearing bifocals and you are noticing and you wear contacts and it's just the constant, all this and the, I have been struggling with this for about a year and a half. It's making me crazy. When I wear my contacts, I need to wear readers to see up close. When I wear my glasses, I need to take my glasses off to actually read something up close. If I have no corrective vision on, I can see closely up fine. It's just annoying and I'm losing readers and I can never, anyway, I went to my annual eye exam and now they have day, I wear total one dailies and now they come in a multivision. So the bifocal part is built in. I don't know how it works. It's like magic because it doesn't matter what direction you put the contacts in. So I have them in now I have here. I can read. I don't have to hold it like this. I can hold it up close and still focus. It's life changing. You have no idea if you can't, if, if vision is something I do not take lightly, I've worn glasses or some sort of corrective vision wear since I was in, since I was nine or 10, I'm 44. The fact that I can see up close, far away, huge. So they're, they're expensive. Like they are like the, uh, I think they were described as the Maserati of <laughs> contact lenses, but game changer, um, total one dailies, multivision. They're in the Brown, um, box, not aqua huge. Um, just, that's my P PSA for you that all of you that need readers. Okay. So that's it for my November favorites. I'm like, Oh no, that's not it. One more thing. Opposite end of the budget spectrum. We'll leave you with a little love this sweatshirt. Oh my gosh. It's grace and threads. It's at target. Hopefully it's still at target. Cause I know black Friday was not like for sale for $10. They make other sweatshirts just, you know, with other things that are said on them please go to Target, order it online, whatever, get yourself one of the Grace and Thread sweatshirts, buy them all. They're so comfortable. They drape really well. I'm wearing mine in a small, oh, and they're such a good price point. They're under $20. So there you have it. November favorites. Hope y'all had a wonderful November. December is going to be lots of fun. Vlogmas, fun videos. I think some more gift guides, I think. Um, lots more tutorials. Lots more craziness with me and the rest of the Goldberg boys. So please make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.